Hi guys, Todd here. Today we're going to be having a look at an RDA. This was manufactured by Ogvape and it was designed in collaboration with Vaping Fagan himself. It's called the... Oh, B... Ah, bot, bottom Top Flavor Clouds. BTFC RDA. You have no idea how often I struggle with that. Anyway, uh, this was one that was sent on to me, and I'll be honest, I chucked it in my, my drawer and thought, mm, nah, not for me. And then uh, then a man with a beard, who's about this height, uh, said that he tried it and it wasn't half bad. So I gave it a go, and here I am now doing a review. Uh, I think you'll be looking about the £25 mark for this in the UK. Maybe 26 I see Evolution Vaping, they have it for £26 just now. And uh, it comes in a host of colours and everything else I'm going to cover in the close-ups. So here we have the BT FC RDA and uh, this was done in conjunction with uh, Vape and Fagen and Ogvape. And just in case you were curious, uh, we've got uh, B for bottom airflow, T for top airflow, F for flavour and C for clouds. And this one here is black and you can get this in many different colours as well. If I can find a picture, I'll stick that up just now. Inside you will find one Allen key. You will find a little bag. Inside there will be O-rings. There will be a squonking 510 pin. This does not come installed, pre-installed. You have to change that out, but it's straightforward operation. Spare grub screws. And you'll also find another 810 drip tip. It's like a clear PMMA one, but it's, you know, it's quite a tall one, this one, instead of the, you know, the low profile one that comes installed on the device. So I'll show you the black one. This is a brand new one that I've just taken out, the tin. Uh, this is 25 millimeters in diameter, this RDA. And not including the 510 pin or including the drip tip, you are looking at 26 millimeters in height. We've got an 810 drip tip up the top here. Uh, I have no issues. That's the thing with this whole thing. I don't really have any issues with uh, threads or with, you know, O-rings or, or anything like that. Everything's within tolerance if you like. Uh, so yeah that goes on there no problem at all. You'll see up here that we have two air holes up here. We have a big air hole down the bottom. The air holes here are about 3.3 by 3.2 millimeters and they are angled down towards the coils. Uh, this one here this is about 10 by 2 millimetres, this one here, but this actually leads up into four other air holes. You've got two air holes under each coil, and the air holes underneath those coils are about 3.3 by 2 millimetres in size. Now, it's really hard to show you on the black one here just now, but uh, the air holes up the top, you know, it's, it's easy enough to, even with a fingers like mine that are always covered in e-liquid you know i can spin that round and i can open and close those air holes no problem at all once the at is on a mod actually spinning this section here to adjust this airflow no issue with that either but as always with a brand new rda you know you want to get some e-liquid on those o-rings to help with it moving about on the base we have uh, you know the usual blurb going on here but we have peak insulators and we have a gold plated uh, 510 pin here you know, once again, changing this out to a squonking one, it's really straightforward. You just need a flat-headed screwdriver and the same for putting in the squonk pin. Really easy operation. Now, the top cap itself it is quite a tall one, but uh, I'll come back to the reason why. Well, the reason why is because the deck is so, so deep on this thing. But uh, we'll, we'll push this out just now. This bit comes out here and you can see there's your ear hole slot there and that corresponds to here. We do have a little bit of domage going on there. But once again, you know, making any adjustments, dead easy. Now, the deck on this thing... Uh, you know, credit where it's due. I really like the deck on this. I think it's it's been it's clever. So you got your Allen key, and there you go. Your little grub nuts or grub screws there and there, and you pin your wire in there and there. But the really clever thing is that when you put your wire through there, you have holes down here as well. You don't have to cut the legs to size. They just pass down through these holes and it's really, really well done. Uh, the specs for the air holes underneath the coil I already gave you. You could run a single coil in this if you so choose, but uh, me personally, this really does perform at its best when you're using dual coils. When the squonks, uh, you'll see you've got your, your well there, and when you squonk, the juice comes out both sides into that well. And that well is, and I'm going to measure it from the base 
up to where the air holes are, uh, you are looking at about 13 millimeters. So you can really squonk hard with this one and you can drip quite a lot as well. Uh, I, it's the standout feature for me on this device is the actual deck. Uh, what I will say is, that if, I don't know if you'll see in here, if we look in this air hole here, there are two smaller holes inside that correspond with the two holes here for where the air comes up. So it, it doesn't really matter. Uh, you know, if you put your top cap on and close half of that off, it doesn't really affect the amount of air coming up through here. So, uh, but I'll cover that more at the end. Now I've undone the little grub screws here and you're looking about 1.5 by 3 millimeter for these holes here for your posts. So I've had no real issue getting any kind of wire through here. I have tried all the big rowdy wire, uh, but this is the build that I've been running today. Uh, this is just 24 gauge canthal, uh, 3 millimeter inner diameter. And yeah, this has been working really well for me, but I'll, I'll put in another build and let you see how it works. So I've got a couple of big rowdy coils here, uh, which uh, I normally don't vape with, but uh, this is just to show you how easy this is. Legs through there, push that down, and I just keep pushing the coil until it's, it's roughly in position. Yeah, that's roughly where I want it. Tighten down the grub screws. I'm just gonna fold these up just like that. Everything's tightened off and just snip these off flush. Now do make sure that you get them cut off flush, you know, they, they have to be, yeah, well recessed in there. I've got that coil exactly where I want it, it's sitting right over those air holes there, and it's just, do you know, once again, well done, I, I, I really like the design in this, I think it's pretty damn clever. Now I'm no builder, in fact, I'm well known for putting shit coils and things, but, you know, if I can get something looking that good, then that says more about the RDA than it does about me. Now I've passed my cotton through and I've, you know, I've tweezed this out, I've taken all the big clumps of cotton out, but you can see it's actually quite long. But you know, if I fold that down, you can see this is going right down into the bottom of that well. But then just grabbing the bottom and just poking this down in there. And that's it. I've not, once again, I've not packed this out. There's not a great deal. Uh, the cotton is feathered at the bottom there to make sure it picks up all the juice and just, you know, going to do the same on the other side. And that's me good to go. Well, obviously I never pulse these coils and I'm not actually going to vape with this. Uh, this one was just for a demonstration. I'll use this one to just let you see how it actually squonks. You know, I can just squonk away there and it just no issues whatsoever. That well's filling up quite the thing and I can squonk really hard with this and have no flooding issues. I have not had one solitary bit of juice come out the air holes on this RDA yet. I'll discuss flavour and vapour production and you know what the draw is like when we go back up top. But you can see here that you know that's blasting away quite the thing. Grab my top cap, pop that on, and that's it. I am not a fan of 25 mil RDAs. I'm a, a dinosaur who likes, I still like 22 millimeter tubes, 22 millimeter atties, RDAs, RTAs, and so on. But I like this. Um, and I'm really surprised by that because my initial impression was not that great. But after spending a little bit of time with it and chucking some builds in it, I do enjoy it. I get good flavor from it and, and it's definitely definitely not shit. Uh, the one thing that stands out for me is the deck. I, I adore the depth of the deck. Yes, you can drip with it. I've not dripped a lot with it. I'm going to be honest, when it first arrived, I did drip with it for a day, but, but that was it. I didn't have any issues with juice leaking out of the air holes or anything like that. It was okay. Threw a squonk pin in and squonking I have been ever since. You can squonk hard with this and you would have to really go some, you'd have to really go some to get this to leak. So for me as an avid squonker, that's a, that's a two thumbs up. The airflow coming underneath the coil, huge fan, love that. Always have done, always will. And for me, I find that's where the best flavor comes from. The coiling setup, um, that, that's, that tickled me, that's, just, you know, carrying those holes out right to the outside of the deck. Uh, very clever. 
and, and two thumbs up, massive two thumbs up. Uh, so the deck is great, big fan of it. Um, as far as it goes for airflow flavour and things like that, now, you have the top airflow, so you've got the, the top airflow here, which I have shut off completely, and I don't really use it. Now, it is angled. I mean, it is angled down. The airflow is... Now, the, you've got the top airflow and the bottom airflow. So, the, the top airflow is completely shut off just now. Bottom airflow fully open. <sighs> Direct lung with a, a, a slight hint of a restriction going on there. But, if I half that airflow at the bottom it, there's a tiny little bit of difference in the amount of air coming in but it's, it's, it's like most RTAs and RDAs these days you know if you're not changing this, the, the size of the air hole underneath the coil uh, then it's not really going to make that much difference to be brutally honest uh, so for me I, I tend to just have it open all the time uh, I mean that's it closed right down I mean hopefully you can see how far it's closed down there and yeah I can restrict it right down but it, it doesn't it's not that kind of device it, it's just not this is for your bigger beefier coils and a bit more power and clouds but you do get flavour with it as well I've got a 0 0.3 ohm build in there, dual coil, and I'm at 45 watts just now, and here we go. Not my kind of vape, not normally how I vape, but it's good. It's, it's, it's not shit, it's actually very, very good. Now the flavour isn't you know, it's not the, um, you know, little 22mm RDA type flavour I'm getting from this, but from a 25mm RDA with, with quite a big chamber in there, I am surprised by the amount of flavour I am getting. I did try a smaller build in there at 25 watts and just, yeah, don't, don't even waste your time. It's not for that kind of build. I will open up the top airflow now. We'll open up both of these. And I will admit that it is kind of hard to see those holes uh, with the black one, but both of them open. A lot more air. And I don't really notice myself any difference in the flavor. Um, that's just me, I, I can only tell you how I'm finding it, but if you want more air, you do have that option to open them up. One thing I will point out is that the, the airflow is not independent, so you can't close off the bottom and have just the top open. Um, well, you can, but then that the air holes aren't coming down at the side of the coils. You know, when you spin the top cap, you're spinning the direction of these air holes up the top as well. It's no big deal. Uh, I just thought it's something I should point out. I'm not a fan of the branding, as in just the this the the BTFC on the side. Um, it, it's not offensive. It's just not my kind of thing. Uh, I will say that the the Atti itself is actually not bad looking. Um, you know, it's it's not... I like it. It's kind of classic looking in some respects. And even with the... I like this drip tip on it. Normally, the way I vape, you would think I would like that long frosted one. But I really don't need it. I find that this drip, drip tip here is actually okay. I don't really have much else to tell you about it. I mean, that's... The thing is, the O-rings, everything moves well. Um, it, bits come apart as you would expect. Uh, you know, there's nothing overly tight, overly loose. Uh, all the screws are nice, you know, you screw down in the wires, they don't snap. It's done, the, I mean, I'm gonna tip my hat to Og Vape as well. I mean, that's the, the one, the intake they did with Mike Vape. So I'm a huge fan of that, which is also a big RTA that normally I wouldn't like. This is a big RDA that normally I wouldn't like, but, the last two things they've put out, I have been rather impressed with. And this is, so far for me, is, is strangely enough, is, is the, probably the best 25mm RDA I've come across. But once again, I am not your typical uh, 
cloudy vapour. So I might take that with a pinch of salt. Go and watch other reviews. There's lots of, you know, cloud chasers out there that have reviewed this already. My opinion might be, you know, slightly off the mark. But for me, I enjoy this a great deal. Now this was sent direct to me from Ogvape. You'll find a link in the description for, uh, I'll put Evolution Vaping's link in there and a link to the Ogvape site. But to you guys, as always, thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you next time. As always, to the side of me, there are two videos that I think you may also be interested in. Down below me is a big fat face and you can click on that and you can subscribe to the channel.